What is up everybody? It's Big George. I'm super excited. Uh, today's video we're going to do about something that no one's talking about. Everyone's kind of still confused. Is the housing shortage. No one's talking about a housing shortage. People still don't really understand why rental prices have gone through the roof. People went crazy over the last couple of years buying real estate. Uh, and moving from one part of the country to another and why that's caused such a dang problem uh, I realized that there was a housing shortage approximately two years ago okay uh, and um, the simple story behind that was this I had a friend you know I see rentals were kind of going up in prices and more people were kind of jumping into the market wanting to buy homes uh, and I had a friend who, who wasn't quite prepared to purchase a home yet, needed to fix some things, save some more money, that kind of thing. And uh, he was looking for a rental and he calls me up and he says, George, I've called everybody uh, and I can't find a rental. And I'm like, come on, man. I mean, really, uh, just so you know, historically, most apartment buildings stay at about, about 87 to 92% of, you know, uh, rate of vacancy so meaning that there's about anywhere from 13 to uh, you know 8 percent of vacancy rate at all times and if you're at 92 you're doing pretty good I mean that that's good stuff uh, for an apartment complex so uh, I called 35 different apartment complexes myself and uh, and they all said the same thing like they were reading off the same script and I'm talking places you wouldn't want to live to the places you couldn't afford to live I called everybody okay and they all said the same thing well right now you know you got to call back in maybe a couple months and I might have one literally every one of them said that and I was like my god so then I started researching it a little bit more uh, because <clears throat> that that's kind of a problem because now rental prices ha had started increasing with no vacancies anywhere so it was awfully hard for people to find rentals. Um, and, I, and I ran across this. Uh, let me show you here. Uh, homes built in the U.S. by decade. Uh, this takes it all the way back. I'm sure you've kind of seen this here or there. Uh, but I kind of want to make sure you're paying attention to it this time. So obviously, you see we've been building homes since the 70s. Right about 25 million every 10 years. And then it kind of ticked up a little bit, right? Population growth makes sense. And then 2008 happened, and, you know, a lot of people retreated. They retreated, uh, you know, big crash, people losing their jobs. They all kind of went to rentals and homes, and all of a sudden we had nine months inventory everywhere, and, and, and yeah, everything was crazy. Uh, and then the builders stopped building homes, okay? This is an important factor, okay? This, this, is, this, is, what, this is what happened. 2008, all the builders pulled back. People went out of business. We remember this, right? You're, you're, you know, gosh, in your 30s, you remember it, you heard about it. Uh, if you're older than that, you experienced it, okay? Uh, so what happens then is they stop building dramatically. They went down to about, you know, 6 million homes, a little less. Uh, but the population kept growing, Okay population kept growing and uh, you know that that's that's kind of been a, a problem here okay let me show you something here population growth okay we can obviously see that this is uh, in 17 in billions so these are in billions okay uh, we're looking here we're gonna fast forward here right like 74 is only 4 billion people 87 5 billion 6 billion and 99 ah, 1999 woo, that was a good year uh, so then we hit about 2012 7 billion and we're not 2024 not there quite yet right but we're we got another billion here coming in right so a lot of a lot of a lot of people getting you know having kids families growing people getting older uh, and getting ready to purchase their home okay so here's what happened in uh, you know that I was one you know real estate 2018 and we had about four months inventory and I went back and I really started analyzing and I realized that uh, you know 2019 we had about three months kind of starting to shrink and in 2020 
Uh, my God, I'm sweating to death here. Let me tell you. And then 2020, what happens? I'm gonna tell you what happened. Pandemic, right? For the first three months, everyone didn't know what to do. Okay. Um, I saw it as opportunity when people don't know what to do. They they make better deals or more willing to make a deal. So I got a bunch of people in homes. So those those people did great. Uh, that was the best time to buy a house uh, when you still make a deal. And uh, and then things started uptaking because uh, you know we were all on lockdown for three months down here in Florida, and some of the other parts of the country were on lockdown for a lot longer. And then all of a sudden, working from home became a thing. Uh, and that was okay everywhere. Uh, and then a lot of companies kind of adapted to that. And they stayed that way. Um, and some, some have gone back to where you have to go to the, back to your office every couple days or something. And some stayed that way. It just uh, made more sense from them. People still, you know, were doing their work and stuff. Uh, so what happened was uh, people started moving from one part of the country to the other. We saw a huge influx of people moving from New York, Pennsylvania. Uh, Chicago, California, areas that stayed locked down for over a year and a half, okay, year and a half, and these people were no longer making logical uh, financial decisions, they were making emotional decisions based on they didn't like the situation they were in, and when that happens, people want out, they don't care what the cost is, so what happened is you had people coming down, and then more people trying to buy homes uh, than normal, uh, not enough homes on the market because some people didn't want to go anywhere so we didn't have a lot of listings and it went from about two three months all the way down to like one month and some areas went lower than a month of inventory which is historically low never happened in our history uh, so we were experiencing you know, a lot of a multiple offer situations as you remember or experienced yourself and they couldn't understand especially down here like, why would they offer them 40000 more or 30000 more or whatever it was? Because they wanted out from where they were. It was very, very emotional. Okay? Uh, so I'm kind of giving you guys the root of the problem, where it came from, and how long this really was in the making. This wasn't something that just happened. Okay? That's, that's where everybody fails to understand that. You have to go back in history to kind of understand this whole picture. Okay? And it goes back to 2008. Uh, so here we go. Boom, I like this uh, graph here. It kind of explains, you know, home builders building in the 100,000, um, you know, and then you see this big dip, right, 2010, and see how really slow it came up here? It wasn't, it wasn't catching up. Construction fell by 55% uh, since 2006, and, uh, you know, let me show it to you. Uh, right here, boom, 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 up, and then it fell. Right since 2006, dramatically, and then it's just ever slowly uptick, and, and this is where we are today, still way, way behind where it needs to be. Okay, uh, this is a great, great uh, article. What I'm going to do is in the notes, I'm going to put. There's going to be a couple of them, so you can go read these for yourself and see them for yourself. Uh, where it explains how construction has not kept up with the pace of population growth over the past 20 years uh, and, and, and why that it was so hard to find a home and, and how we're trying to fix that now. Uh, you know, so this is a, a, a great, great article. Uh, yeah, I'm even going to put another article in here where people, I want people to truly understand because this stuff gets lost in the news. Uh, I'm seeing all kinds of doomsdayers, there's going to be housing crash and inventory everywhere. And I want you to kind of make your own decision as to what you think because when I see that and I realize how short of inventory we are, how hard it is to find a rental, okay, uh, and the cost of that, and I'm not the only one, okay, I'm just, hey, what does George know? He's just a dude. Um, you know, you can, there's tons of economists, hell, Dave, Dave Ramsey, if you, if you listen to him, I may not agree with every little thing that gentleman says, but he's pretty smart, and uh, he's helped a lot of people come out of debt, so I definitely pay attention. Uh, I don't have to agree with everybody, but I do pay attention, and I respect what they say, and I, I, I take that uh, information, and, and I process it, and I see how it works for me. Um, and, and I suggest you do the same thing. Don't don't just listen to, oh, everything's going to crash and people are going to be homeless. Where are they going? 
really good. They're not going to go into a rental. Rental's costing more money than before. Okay, so that's truly not going to happen. Here's another article. You know, never been such a severe shortage of homes in the U.S., and here's why. I'm going to stick this one in there because this is a builder uh, that they were interviewed. He's been building for a really long time, 45 years, went through the, the Great uh, Recession. And, and, and folks, that, that recession, that was the 2008, the last thing that compounded to that was the Great Depression, okay? So, so within the 70 years, 80 years, no one's ever seen anything like it. So don't try and compare it to just some market shift, okay? It was traumatic, and it was a global event, just like the pandemic. So when things are global events, it definitely makes a difference. So I want you to understand that these aren't some things that are likely, um, and they don't come around very often. Okay, so what we're seeing now is definitely going to be a market correction. We have inflation coming up. I've did a, done a video about that. Go check that out. Uh, and, uh, you know, here we go. Uh, we're trying to correct that situation. We're about 5 million homes short in the United States right now, which is why we still have, uh, you know, a little bit of, uh, you know, 1.75 months of inventory. This is here in Florida. Uh, I'm talking about Polk County area. And uh, from last time I see, we got probably, uh, this is as far as June, because, you know, the until the months ended, the, the numbers kind of get skewed. So we'll see what it's going to be here in July uh, and how it affects. Now, home, home, homes are going to sell a little slower, so that's going to change the data a little bit. Okay, so we're going to have to keep a close eye on this and see what's coming about. But I want you to understand that we have a housing shortage. This has been... 14 years in the making and we got unfortunately caught a perfect storm with COVID creating a housing uh, pandemic you know with the pandemic this housing crisis of people moving drastically from one area of the country to the other uh, buying up inventory uh, and then you know renters are still having a heck of a time this is going to persist for a while uh, it's not going to change, and even though the market's kind of upticked a little bit with some homes coming on the market, went from 1% to like 1.75, almost 2, uh, that's kind of like being choked. You're being choked to death, you can't breathe at all, and then someone let go a little bit, and you get a little bit of air, and you're like, oh my god, that was so good. All right, so what that's going to do is just, uh, it's it's a little, it's not like, oh my god, a whole market shift. A, a market a neutral market six months of inventory so if we only have 1.75 we are far 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 from a neutral amount of homes on the market to make this not a buyer's market not a seller's market anything less than six months of inventory is a seller's market anything north of six months becomes a buyer's market and if you could remember for a long time it was a buyer's market okay and the 2010, 11, 12, 13, heck, they're paying you almost to buy homes. If you didn't take advantage of it then, that, that was a mistake, okay? And if you didn't you know, take advantage as things kind of kept going to, to get yourself out of that rental position, that was also a mistake. Uh, and now we're kind of going to hit a pivotal point here uh, where the market's shifting, inflation is going up, and the only way really to protect yourself is to own real estate. Okay, real estate is a hedge against inflation. You may have heard this. If not, I'm letting you know. Uh, so you might want to look into it a little bit more. Uh, and, and, and if you're in a rental position, expect your rent to continually go up every year. And I have no idea by how much because they're still frantically trying to build new apartment complexes and have new places for people to rent. So that being said, I just wanted to kind of put this on your plate a little bit, explain to you a little bit that we actually have a housing shortage, which is why, you know, still here in the new builders, are, oh my God, they have so much inventory. I looked everywhere and there's not like 10,000 homes, okay? Like I, I can speak from experience in, in my area, uh, the builder I work for, we have, uh, I think like two, okay, in a 150 mile radius of uh, inventory homes. The homes are still selling, folks. Okay, homes are still selling, uh, and and they're, people are gonna be buying, and they're because they they gotta have somewhere to go. It's just simple mathematics. So, if you have any questions, let me know.
email me, text me, DM me, ring the bell, check the like button, and uh, leave me a comment. All right, I'm interested in what you guys have to say. If you're, you're learning stuff and you enjoy, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm trying to help just create awareness and educate people more, not only about the market, but how to purchase new constructions, homes, and, uh, you know, what, what that's like and, and things to watch for and, and uh, to make it a, a better transaction for yourself. Um, and uh, if there's anything in the world that I can do for you, just reach out to me. I'm here for you. I'll talk to you guys later. See me in my next video. Have a great night.